All right, fam, so we are back at it again with another crazy video. Now, this one right here is from Jason Lee Podcast or the Jason Lee Show. Uh, he had Charleston White on there. Now, I understand that a lot of people don't like Charleston White, but, bro, if y'all want to be real, Charleston White be speaking that stuff. Now, if could it be a different way he can say it? Yeah, you know what I'm saying? I believe that there's multiple, multiple ways, multiple different ways he can say what it is that he want to say that's on his mind. But he be talking that stuff. Now, this one right here, he was talking about black on black crime. Uh, I didn't watch the full clip. I just seen like the little beginning of it. But this, I already know Charles and Wife finna go off. So yeah, without further ado, man, hit the like button, subscribe to all post notifications. Follow your boy on all social medias down below. Without further ado, let's like, get it, let's like, get so, but you you commented on black on black murder, which we don't. I don't believe black on black crime is a thing. Do you believe it's a thing? Yeah. Why do you believe black on black? Because some would say it's crime is it's it's all based on proximity. Uh, show me where the Jews killing each. To say black on black crime is not a thing is crazy, bro. I'm sorry. I'm I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm gonna let it play out. But to say that is that's a wild statement, bro. Black on black crime. You don't believe that exists? Pretending that it doesn't exist doesn't mean like, uh, okay, let's go. So, but you, you commented on black on black murder, which we don't, I don't believe black on black crime is a thing. Do you believe it's a thing? Yeah. Why do you believe black on black? Because some would say it's crime is, it's, it's all based on proximity. Uh, show me where the Jews killing each other. Show me where the Asians going to jail for murder and they got Asian gangs. Mm hmm Show me where there's a and there's a big population of, of Asians in California. There are Asian Crips, Asian Bloods, Asian gang. Show me where a big population of Asians in jail. Mm -hmm. You can't show me. Show, show me. Show me a big population of white people killing white people. You can't. But this is a country of guns. Well, only when they go in school and shoot up kids and but, say but it's that's, not terrorism. But but they can they classify that as a mass shooting. Mm -hmm. They classify ours as gun violence, but it's mass shooting because mass people are being shot mm -hmm. in in one instance. But they don't classify ours as mass shooting. Well, where do you think that comes from, though? Because again, I'm not one to say everything goes back to white people, but it, lack it, of investing. It, 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 com it in comes our back to us because they see we don't care. If we cared. A much as, if we care the same about black people shooting black people that we did police shootings, then they would respond to black shootings the way they do police shootings. They try to give us resources and they try to find alternative solutions after a police shooting occur. Mm -hmm. They literally put everything on hold. Come on, we got to hear from our blacks. But that's only during a police shooting. Then we act like nothing else bothers us but police shootings. Only thing that bothers black people in America is police, a white police officer killing a black person. Other than that, nothing bothers us mm -hmm. because we don't cry, we don't complain, we don't march, we don't ride, and we don't tear up shit until that happens. So why would anybody care about that? They don't. Bro. <laughs> Look, I get it. I understand a lot of people don't like them, but fam, you can't. You can't even, you can't even be mad at what he's saying though. I mean, like, cause y'all even hearing him for real. The man talking that stuff, seriously. But and I and I said it years back, or I, I, whenever George Floyd died, this, I said that years back. I don't even know what year he died. Probably 2020 or something. 2021. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? But I mentioned the fact that we only riot when we see a white officer killing a black person, like. We never go, we never do the same, the same things we was doing with the Black Lives Matter. We never did that when it came to black on black crimes at all. And then you say that black on black crime doesn't, or you don't believe that it exists. How? You know what I'm saying? How? It's like, it's, it's in the, it's in the wording. Black people killing black people. How does that not exist? It, it, you know what I'm saying? Like, it, it's so bad because, and you could call me crazy or whatever. I feel more comfortable around people that is not my race rather than people that is my race. Because when I'm around people that is my race, and that's not to say I don't hang around people that is my race. I do. I hang around a lot of black, a lot of black folks. You know what I'm saying? But when it comes to actually like going to a party, not on party, but let's say if I was to party, it's a lot of times where I will feel more 
uncomfortable seeing a group of black folks because every any time that a group of black people get together, it can never be a genuine love or party or let's do this, let's have fun. It's always something violent that's going to take place. And I'm not saying that's 100% of the time, but that's majority of the time. You can't even tell me I'm lying. You can't. Seriously, you cannot tell me I'm lying. I had a, I knew somebody who went to a party and, and another black person killed him in the party and he ended up passing away. The man was young. He was only 30. You know what I'm saying? But that's just, a, that's just to show you, you feel me? But if I go to a, a party that is mixed a little bit, you know what I'm saying? You got white people, Mexicans, you got a few black folks, you got a few here, a few, a few there. Like, you know what I'm saying? When I go to parties like that, I probably will feel more comfortable. Yeah, violence happened everywhere, but I probably will feel more comfortable in those settings rather than going to a, a party full of black people. I feel like I would have to watch over my back 24-7 trying to look at every single exit because I don't know what's going to pop off in 2.5 seconds. You could step on a black person Jordans and next thing you know, it's a fight breaking out. Then next thing you know, guns is pulling out. You know what I'm saying? You can you could be in a party with a girl not knowing that she got a boyfriend. Then her, then her boyfriend come in and now all of a sudden the party gets shot up. And now all of a sudden you dead because you didn't know she had a boyfriend and she was just dancing on you. It's things like that that just be like, bro, why? Why? But I promise you, Charleston White is being 100% honest. Like, if we start to care for ourselves... As, like, we start to care for black-on-black -black crime ourselves, they will probably care for them themselves, too. But they don't. They don't care for the black-on-black -black crime because we don't even care. We only care when it's a white officer shooting a black man. That's it. That's the only time we actually show up and show out. Let, let it, let it would be, let it would have been a black person killing a black person. We like, oh, it's another black man dead. Oh, who killed him? Oh, man, Johnny down the street, Joey down the street, whatever. Like, it's just like, come on, bro. We, it's like it's so normal to us, and that's bad, bro. It shouldn't be normal to us. Killing in general shouldn't just be normal. But the fact that it's like when you see a black person getting shot, it's like a, it's just like another day. That's it. It's another day to people. It's not like it's not normal. It's not. And people think it's so normal because it happens so much, especially out here in Chicago. It's a freaking war going on between BDs and GDs. And you know what I heard? You know what I seen? Somebody was like, man, the rack on fire right now. And, and just to translate that for y'all, it simply means that Chicago is like, it's on fire right now. Like, it's, it's, I mean, I don't know how to translate it. It's just like, it's on fire right now. Like, people is just killing people left and right. BDs and GDs going at it. You know what I'm saying? And, and that's so sad because the fact that the comment was just like, damn, man, Chicago on fire right now. And that's it. It's like another day in hood. It's like another day in the hood. It's another day in Chicago. But it's like, it's not like a, a shock to us. It's not like a, oh man, bro. Are you serious, bro? We need to stop this, bro. What's going on? Like, it's not none of that. It's just a, oh damn, bro. That's crazy, man. Rest in peace. That's all we say when we see a black person die by another black person. Oh man, that's crazy, bro. Rest in peace. Rest in peace. Oh damn, bro. What? Merch. Merch, bro, got shot up. Rest in peace. Like, that's all we say, bro. It's like another day, bro. Man, Charleston White definitely went off on this one, bro. He definitely went off on this one, man. Shout out to Charleston White. I don't, like, a lot of stuff I wouldn't say, you know what I'm saying, that he said. Like, a lot of stuff I just wouldn't. You know what I'm saying? Like, talking about the dead and all that. Like, a lot of stuff I wouldn't say. Like, after the person died, you still, you know, you, you comment on them. Like, stuff, stuff like that I wouldn't necessarily say, but... At the end of the day, he do speak a lot of facts, bro. And if you honestly have ears to hear, bro, you can really hear what he's saying for real. You know what I'm saying? But if you so close minded and you ain't really trying to hear what he's trying to say, bro, you gonna miss out on the you gonna miss out on the the main message that he's trying to portray. You know what I'm saying? So hey, shout out to Charleston White, man. Shout out to Jason Lee for having him on the show. But anyways, man, it's been your boy Depan. I love each and every one of y'all. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hit the like button, subscribe to no post notifications. Been your boy Depan. God bless. Stay blessed. Peace. Ha <laughs>